There's only one week left to get 15% off any and all Newscape Pro merch. Grab your back to school gear while you still can at NewscapePro.com. Link is in the description and at the end of the video. Rachel, what what is going on right now? Who is this and, and what is... You, you committed murder? Why am I not surprised? Well, clearly I didn't. She's alive. That's a good point. So I'm innocent. Because attempted murder is not a crime. I've been looking forward to this day, Rachel. And I was looking forward to your funeral, but I never got invited. I see why now. Oh, yeah. You're that red line person who they found dead in the woods. Wait, they found you dead in the woods. I saw it on the news. I was dead until my sensei brought me back using dark demon magic. I have him to thank for my resurrection as well as my... Blonde hair. Exactly. Blonde hair. Yeah, that's a really cool outfit. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's kind of a pain to get the blood stains out, but that's fine. You know, you can't put a price on fashion. So, Rachel Five, are you ready to die? Once I'm done with you, I'll find that lifeguard who was with you and kill her as well. Wait, lifeguard? Oh my god, Steve, yes, yeah, Sunstrider was there. She was my accomplice. It's fine. It's not a big deal. What? I hold you both equally responsible. Actually, I mean, she was the one that wanted to kill her in the first place. The only reason I had to shoot her was because your girlfriend couldn't go through with it. Where was I during all of this? Oh, that was where you were getting that gift. See, it's a funny story. Oh my god, that's why you guys were acting so weird. Yeah, I mean, we thought you were cheating on her. What? Yeah, because we saw you at this hotel, but then it turns out that was a different drift funny little accident. <laughs> Wouldn't it be interesting if we had all just had open dialogue about this whole thing? Maybe we could have avoided this entire scenario. But no! Well, I mean, we didn't think you were going to tell the truth if you were cheating on her. So we just thought we'd kill her. Oh, that makes sense. My life was stripped away from me. I lost my promising race car driving career, my loving boyfriend Drift, and my pet lizard Gizmo. Yeah, sorry about all that, but, uh... Rachel's the one who killed you, so maybe you should just kill her and then, you know, you can just call it straight. I cannot return to the grave until my revenge is complete. It's sort of the deal. Prepare to die. Oh, you want a tango? Y you don't want to mess with Rachel, Rachel six. six. Oh, God. Bring it, freak. Yeah, everyone stop it. I have a gun now. Steve, why do you have a gun? I, I don't know. I don't want anyone to hurt Touch Strider. She's not even here. I don't want to kill all of you, noob. I'll spare you if you just leave us. No, you're gonna kill my girlfriend. It's totally not cool. I lost my love. You can lose yours too. It's only fair. Misery loves company. What? That's so ridiculous. I'm out of here. I gotta go find Touch Rider. Fine, leave me to kill her. You're going to pay for what you did. Oh. You took everything from me. I, I hope I kill you again. It's even more painful. I'll ruin you. Face me, coward! I want to die. Get me out of this bush. Or kill me, please. I just want to be dead. What's all that noise? Oh my god, who are you? Please let me out of this bush or kill me, one or the other. Omega, it's me, Fate. Remember? Why do you look weird? I'm Criterion now. The, my name's Xenu. See, it doesn't make a difference. I'm still Omega. See, that's how stupid your new name is. Omega, I told you I would capture you and keep you forever. Yep, you did a really good job. Hey, uh, I don't want to interrupt anything, but could I also get out of this bush? You know, over here, this bush over, over here, this one? No. Please. I need to get out of here and hold a funeral for my friends. Their bodies are probably just laying there still. Oh my god, are you still crying about that? Well, I mean, it was literally my entire life. 
such a loser. Like, John Wick, imagine if your, like, dog died. You'd be pretty upset. I would never allow that to happen. You know, Omegi, if you're nice to me, I might ask Carbide to spare you. I'd rather die. But, look. I, I mean, I look pretty good in this armor, huh? I liked you better all natural. You're gonna regret saying that when the harvest comes. I promise you that. Wait, what What harvest? I'd also like to hear about this harvest. I mean, I could, like, take it or leave it. Go whine some more, whiny. Well, I suppose since you're trapped here and you're gonna die, I might as well let you know what's happening. Wow, that's so nice. And I always did have a soft spot for you, Omega. So... I guess Carbide's big thing is that he's gonna absorb all your souls into this, like, giant tomato. And then he's gonna eat that tomato and become some sort of giant tomato deity kind of a deal. Whoa. Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense. How am I stuck in this bush? I mean, I guess he just kind of wants to be, like, God or something like that. I mean, he brought me back, so I'm all in. After you let me die, Omega. Okay, well, hold on a second. That was not my fault. I think it was. That happened so long ago, I don't even remember how you died. You didn't stand up for me. Oh, right. You fell off that You fell off that building. Yeah. So are any of us exempt from this giant tomato plan? Because I really don't want to do that. My soul won't mesh with theirs. It'll, it'll end up tasting nasty. No. Fate, look. It's me, Omega. Let's get out of here. Come on, just count me out of the bush, take my hand, and we'll pretend this whole thing never happened. What do you say? You mean we can start our life together again? Like we were going to way back in the beginning? Yeah, way back then. Remember? Remember how good it was? Remember? We were going to get married and have kids. Ugh. Yeah, that can all still happen. I'm still young. And you still want it to happen, Omegi? Totally. And especially that armor, smoke show. You really, you really, really think so? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not falling for that. What? I'm serious. I mean, like, five minutes ago, you just told me how hideous it was, so yeah. Yeah, even I saw through that. Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it, it was pretty bad. Lame. You screwed us, Omega, with your dumb plan. Your bad acting fell through yet again, Omega. Nice. Yeah, we were just this close to getting out. And you blew it. Hold on, let me try, let me try. Fate, baby, you, uh, you want to get me out of this bush and love each other? Ew. I guess I'm not very good at acting either. Fate, wait, for real, like, I don't want to die, so, like, could you please help me out here? <sighs> Look, Omega, if you change your mind and you really decide that you start to have actual feelings for me again, then we'll talk. But until then, you have to stay in this bush. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. Judge Rider! Judge Rider! Judge Rider, I need to talk to you! Oh, hey Steve. Haven't seen you in a while. Judge Rider, I heard the most terrible news. I heard you committed... Bleh. Bleh. Steve, you, uh, you sound like an animal. Just spit it out. I heard you killed somebody. Red line! Oh, yeah, that. How did you find out about that? She's not dead. She's alive and she's coming for revenge. Oh my god, what? Yeah, she's like, she's like she came over to Rachel 5 and they're battling now. And once she kills Rachel 5, she's going to come kill you. How could this happen? Well, you killed her. Or tried to, so. I didn't do it. Well, yeah, Rachel pulled the trigger, but you were still an accomplice, so. Well, you got me there. Don't worry, Judge Strider. I won't let her hurt you. I'll, I'll, I, I got it. I'm going to hide you out in a place where she'll never find you. Where's that? My granny's house. Did you say your granny's house? There's nothing funny about a guy's granny. Look, my granny is a little eccentric, all right? And oftentimes, you know, she's a bit aloof, a sort of enigma. She's sort of a horror legend around the internet now, but she's really not as bad as they make her out to seem. All right, well, that's what we have to do. Yeah, we gotta hide you, because that red line, she's like a white line now, if you know what I'm saying. I I have no idea what you're saying. Let's just say that instead of wearing black, now she wears white, and instead of brown hair, now she has blonde hair. Oh, and she's like a zombie or some stuff. Anyway, let's just get you hit it. Come on, let, let's go this way. My grandma tells me right down the road. I hope she made cookies. Me too. Wingman! Hey, Raptor! What's going on, man? Check out the new RV. Might not be a big status symbol, you know, all those fancy pants and their ivory towers. Tilted. But, you know, beats begging on the streets. 
Wingman, I need your help. Help with what, Raptor? We have a mission. We have to go save people from the tomato farm. Well, I mean, I, I get that you don't like tomatoes that much, Raptor, but I don't think we have to save people from it. Ew, tomatoes are gross. But no, no, it's a specific thing. There's a bad guy who captures people and, you know, puts them in tomato farms. I don't know, it's a whole thing. There's like seven episodes about it. You know what? I'm not gonna ask any questions. You have my dedicated loyalty, so I'll follow you to the ends of the earth, Raptor. A true wingman you are, wingman. Remember that time we went to the bar and I took that friend grenade? Oh yeah, Valor. Ew. She is not an attractive woman. Those eyes, I mean, they are... They're into the black holes, almost. But there is one more thing, wingman, that you're probably not gonna be as on board with. Oh, I'm on board. I'm already on the airline, getting my seat. Section D. Well, Sledgehammer? Is that the cue? Hey, guys. What's up? All right, I'm jumping out of this plane right after I kill Sledgehammer. Now, hold on, hold on. I need both of your help. And Sledgehammer's proven himself that he's made a comeback. He's a he's a good guy now. Why do I not believe that for one second? I don't know, dude. Like, you should totally believe it, because it's true and stuff. Sledgehammer saved my life. I was bleeding out. I would have died if it wasn't for him. Huh, is that so? Is this true, Sledgehammer? Well, yeah, dude, I was like, I was all like, oh, man, I got to get that DVD, 16 Candles, and then I saw him bleeding, and I didn't want him to die, so I had to, like, save him and stuff. Well, I'll be. The group's back together. So, Wingman, you'll join us on this mission that might cost us our lives? Yes, sir. Well, bro, you never said anything about possibly dying. Like, that's... That's messed up, bro. All right, here we are, Sunstrider. This is my granny's house. Don't be, don't be alarmed. What the? I, I knew you would say that. Okay, she likes people coming in through the basement for some reason, and the basement does look like a mine shaft. Steve, that's that's not normal. It's it is not. She lives a very unorthodox lifestyle, but I'd appreciate it if you could be more welcoming and open to other types of cultures. I guess if it's gonna keep me safe. Yeah, I I didn't say safe, just away from red line. Wait, what? Yeah, my grandma goes out for meds a lot, and that's when things go kind of haywire. It's a toss up, you know. Ten percent of the time, she's the nicest lady you've ever met. Well, I can I can fight her off, right? I'm I'm Sunstrider. Yeah, totally, totally. Uh, Sunstrider, Sunstrider, just don't look her in the eyes, all right? Fine. Wait, so where are you going? I have some unfinished business. Baby. Okay, good luck with that. Yeah, cool. up. Yep. Hello? It's Sunstrider. I'm dating your grandson. We've never met, so this is probably probably a little awkward, but um hello, is anyone there? Wow, this place is really dusty. It smells like pennies and and mothballs. Ugh, old people. I just really hope the cookies aren't oatmeal. Huh. What's in this door? Oh wow, she has automatic doors that open for you. Might as well go in. Sasuke so DP17 says. It's me or Omega doesn't like Rachel 5 anymore. You know, I kind of got the same feeling. He's really been drifting apart lately. Although it might have to do something with him being trapped in that tomato farm. I really need to get around to saving him. <laughs>